outside if you see a spider, a bug, a mouse, a lizard, a snake, should you touch it or pick it up? No, not really. Not because they're gonna bite you, they're kitty cats. The reason is because at your age you don't know what hurts you, what doesn't. But today you're going to learn very few things hurt you, okay? The only time you touch things is when you're with mommy or daddy, you ask permission first, or you're at school with your teacher. Understand? But again, not because they're mid-dangerous and mean. Here's the thing you're gonna find out. Most people, not everyone, but most people are taught wrong. Now, it's like this. You ever heard the word potato bug? No. A potato bug is no more a potato bug than I am Madonna. It's a cricket, un grillo. The closest potato bug is probably Fresno, 235 miles from here. Now, the animal's gonna start coming around now. And when animals come around, should we pet on the head or the back? Back. Back, always the back, never the head. Now when I ask you a question, always come up with an answer. Because in my classes, it is unacceptable to sit and go, I don't know. No, no. You cannot play dumb in my class. You must use your, your head, your brain. In my class, there are no wrong answers. Now, how do we get smart? Tell me some ways to get smart. <laughs> Learning, excellent answer. Listening, Listening excellent. Mm -hmm. Thinking, excellent. Paying attention. Paying attention. How do we get smart? And just, oh, good answer. You had an answer. I'm looking for a particular thing to get smart. How do we get smart, intelligent? Oh, good. Learning. Learning. Studying. Studying. And what do we study? Animals. Animals. What are we in right now? Ah. Oh. Read, number one answer, reading. You read, 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 and read about reading. You don't like to read, so what? Find something you do like to read. You like animals, read about animals. You like mysteries, science fiction, you read about that. You like love stories, you read about that. Cars, you read about that. Number one answer is reading. Because if you read now, will you read when you get older? Yes. Yes, but if you don't read now, will you read later? No way, uh-uh. Reading is a habit. It's a good habit. And if you read, you will not only get smart, but your vocabulary. You know what vocabulary means? Your words, it gets better. Because if you grow up and you don't have a vocabulary, and you go, duh, duh, do you think people will listen to you? No. Not hardly, they turn the other way. But if you talk intelligent, people listen. And they listen to what you say. So. You want to read everything you can get your hands on. Understand? Yeah. Now, the animals are going to come around, we pet on the back. Never pet an animal on the head, especially a dog. Never pet a dog on the head. Your own personal animal, pet any place you want. Your tummy, the tail, the tongue, the toe, the nose. But an animal you're not around every single day, never pet to the head. If a friend comes over to your house and you have a dog, should your friend pet to the head or the back? Back, always the back. If you go to Grandma Grandpa's house once a week and they have a doggy, you've been there 50 times and they say, oh, Billy, Mary, it's okay to pet to the head. You say, no, no I will pet to the back because when you least expect it, the dog may do what? Bite. Bite. Every dog in the world, your dog, my dog, and every little fifi poo in the world bites if the situation is right. And if it doesn't bite you, it's capable of biting somebody else. Do I like dogs? I love dogs. I have a dog now. I've, I've always been around dogs. But I understand them and I respect them. Now, three things I will teach you today. You will remember these three things because you will never forget them the rest of your life. You may forget a lot of things I teach you, but you will not forget these three things. So listen and listen well. Today, one, you learn to be afraid of nothing. I don't care if you like them. You're not going to be afraid of them. Two, you run from nothing. I don't care if a mountain lion comes up in your yard today, you just go, hello. And three, you learn to be kind to everything and everyone. Never make fun of people because they're different. They're in a wheelchair, one arm, one leg, and you do not make fun of animals. You do not go, ew. You know what the animals say when they see your faces? Ew. Therefore, you learn to go, oh. So if a snake crawls on you today, and it will crawl on you, 
You're a tree. Would a snake crawl up a tree and bite the tree? No. no. So if it crawls on your shoulder, you go, oh. If it crawls down your shirt, you go, ah. If it crawls in your pants, you go, ooh la la. <laughs> now, have you ever seen anybody do this? Ew. Is that right or wrong? wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Never do that. You see, a lot of times adults teach us kids fear. But the way they teach us, they don't go, well, today I'm going to teach you how to be afraid of lizards. Tomorrow I'm going to teach you how to be afraid of snakes. They don't do that. They teach you through what is called body language. Say it. Body language. That means your body talks without moving your mouth. Tell me what my face is saying. My face is going to talk to you. Mad. I can talk to you all day long and never open up my mouth. So it's like this. If you grew up around people who do this, ew, you're going to grow up doing what? Ew. ew. You grew up in my house, you grow up like this. Hello. Nice. It's all in the way you're taught. Pay no attention to it. No, no, no. Come forward. That's it. Never run. Come forward. Come again. Keep coming up. Come up. Put your bottoms on the line. Bottoms on the line. The kids in the very back. Your bottom's on the line. I need a space between. Now, when the animals come off the table, never run. Running, if you run from an animal, your body language is telling the animal what? Yeah. I'm afraid. It will then chase you. When it catches you, it'll probably do what? Well, in, 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 in Hawthorne, it won't eat you. It'll bite you. In Africa, it'll eat you. But in Hawthorne, it'll probably just bite you. So you never run, because if you stand still, now your body language is telling the animal what? I'm a tree. I'm not afraid. Make my day. Now, if you have to leave the situation, always walk backwards. Never turn your back. Because if you turn your back on an animal, and the animal is going to bite you, it generally is going to do it when you turn your back. So you walk backwards like this. Now, um, the three things I will teach you. Again, one, you learn to be afraid of nothing. Two, you run from nothing. And three, you learn to be kind to everything and everyone. Those are the three things that you will not forget. So if something jumps off the table here again, do not move. Matilda's going to come out now. Matilda's called a wallaby. Say it. Wallaby. Not a kangaroo. Kangaroos get up to seven and a half feet tall. They can run, say, 35 miles an hour. Matilda, she can run almost that fast, and she can jump almost seven feet. Now, if the mommy kangaroo is that tall, say the tall as the, the, this up here, taller than Shaq of the Lakers, if she, they can jump, if, they can, if they're that tall when, when, they're, when they're full grown, how big is the baby when it comes to the mommy's tummy? How big? That big, good guess. Everybody hold up your baby finger. Look at your baby finger nail. That's how big it is. Wow. Whoa. Looky, we have a baby. What is it? I don't know. I can't tell. Looky. Hmm. Now, Remember this, as long as you are nice, animals will be nice. If you're mean to them, they may be. You don't ever come up and do this. Move these over closer. You don't do that. You don't come up to animals and go ooh, ooh, and poke them. When my wife wants my attention, she doesn't come up and go, John, she goes, nice. Whenever my kids want money, they go, Daddy, can I have $10? That's why I have no hair, because they rub it so much. Now, lizards and snakes have, why are they sticking out their tongue? Are they going, smell. 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 Why does a snake have a forked tongue? Ah. Why is it split? Use your brain. Come up with an answer. There are no wrong answers. Every answer is a good answer. There may be a better one, but your answer is still good. So think, why is the tongue split? Good answer, but there is another reason right here. Why do you think it's split? It can smell, but why is the tongue split? Why do you have two ears? Well, why not one ear in the middle of your forehead? Why do you have two? Because you can hear from this side and you can hear from that side. Ah. So it can smell? It can smell both ways like you hear both ways. It goes, I smell a mouse going this way. I smell a mouse going that way. Now, Matilda has what on her tummy? 
She has something on her tummy. What's it called? Good guess. Not a patch, but a pouch, like a pocket. Now, all animals with pouches are called what? Cameroon. No. <laughs> marsupial, very good. And do you know how many marsupials there are in the world with pouches? 100. Good guess, 250. 170 live in Australia. Now, most animals run from you. Her job is to run over you, so get ready. Her job is to try to startle you. Say startle. startle. Now startle, what do you think startle means? Scared. Good guess. No, that's what most people think. That's incorrect, but that's a good guess. If you're scared of them, they're scared of you. No. Startle does not mean scared. Like, uh, mm, good guess. It means one word, sir. Surprise. Surprise is the correct word. Here's what startle means. Watch. Oh, what's that? I wasn't scared, I was surprised. surprised. When I'm done with you, when I'm done with you, you're going to be like this. <laughs> Hello. You do not move. Remember, you're nothing more than a bush, a rock, a tree. If you run, you become prey to many animals. You stand still, you're an object, a tree, a rock. You show no fear. Now. Matilda's going to come around. When she comes, do you pet on the head or the back? Yeah. The back. This boy, move up closer. Put your bottom on the line. Yeah. Now, she's going to hop over you, so be ready. Yeah. She wants to see if you do this. Oh, or you merely do this. Hello. <laughs> Remember, today you learn to be afraid of nothing. nothing. You run from nothing. nothing, and you're kind to everything and everyone. That is the way that it should be. That's the way that it will be. Um, okay, yeah. Be on the line. Try and be on the line. Okay, right there. Yeah. No moving around on the line. Hands down. Now listen up. On your bottoms, everybody on your bottoms on the line. I'm going to be picking helpers, those people sitting on their bottoms and who do not talk. You talk, I will see you. And then I won't pick you. You raise your hand, go me, me, me. I'm going to go no, no, no. These are troubled times we live in tough. Did you understand? If you didn't, I'll say it in seven different languages. I guarantee you I will get all of you, most of you. Now, Matilda will work the crowd. Now, lizards and snakes stick out their tongue because they're smelling. Elmer, he sticks out his tongue because he smells and he says yes. Now, Elmer, are you going to be a nice lizard to the kids? He says yes. Now, do you want somebody to carry you around? He says, yes. I need a volunteer to carry Elmer around. Come on up. Anytime I have, anytime I call you up, you come Elmer around to this side. Keep coming around here. Henry, go that way. Okay. Over here. Come around. No, no, come around over here. It's okay. If when you walk by her, pet her on the back. Pet her on the back. She won't hurt you. Sure. Come, pet her. What's your name? Ashley. Pet her, Ashley. Look at me. Look at me. You're afraid of nothing. Touch her now. You haven't seen anything yet. I see kids and adults that are so frightened they have never in their life touched a dog or a cat. What a sad thing. Parents? It is not my job to teach you how to teach your children. I do not want to do that. But if any of you keep your children from touching a dog or a cat or animals, it is wrong. And by teaching your children that, they grow up so petrified of animals that the very thing you're trying to keep them from, you are endangering them much worse because when they get near an animal and you're not next to them, they will run, they will show fear, and then bad things will happen. So therefore, you take them to the pet store. Teach them, even if you do not like animals, you teach them to respect them, be kind to them, and to pet nice.